The Phoenix ghost attack drones that the US is supplying to Ukraine have remained a mystery for a long time. The drone was never mentioned until the Biden administration announced in March 2022 that it was transferring 121 Phoenix ghosts to Kiev. As Forbes writes, these drones were apparently very successful because the US then promised Ukraine another 580 birdies. The announcement of the aid package in July 2023 mentioned Phoenix Ghost and Switchblade unmanned aerial systems. The official details have never been released about the Phoenix Ghost. After a flurry of mentions in Defense Department reports, it disappeared. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said in April 2022 that it provides a similar capability to the Switchblade series of unmanned systems. Similar capabilities but not precision. The Phoenix Ghost is a real piece of equipment that is supplied and used by Ukrainian forces on a regular basis and has impressive new capabilities. And something very similar to the Phoenix Ghost was used to attack Russian territory. There are no images of the drone in the public domain. However, some details were shared by Skip Arney, Vice President of AVIX Aerospace. This is a great example of rapid response capability, and we actually got a request for a system. This is an example of systems that vary in range, payload, and type, he said. There are several different drones operating under the Phoenix Ghost umbrella, rather than a single drone. In April 2024, at the Army Aviation Mission Summit 2024, AVIX unveiled a munition called the Atlas. It has a bigger brother, the Dominator, which has not yet been fielded. The Russians use reconnaissance drones in close cooperation with Landsets and other attack drones to locate targets. Phoenix Ghost probably operates as a combination hunter-killer long-range reconnaissance drone that works with several kamikaze drones. Others may act as communications relays or provide electronic warfare support. The design of the Atlas drone is hidden. However, given that Ukraine currently has a number of locally produced attack drones, as well as imported Polish war mates and American switchblades, identifying them would be difficult. The downed munitions may provide more clues, but they are few. Ukraine has carried out many long-range drone attacks using a variety of drones. Some of these are known types, but there are several others that have not yet been identified. The Phoenix Ghost could be a significant game-changer. It would be interesting to know how much of the huge recent increase in Russian artillery losses was due to these munitions. It all depends on the US's willingness to provide drones and use them where they will have the greatest effect. Phoenix Ghost may yet rise from the ashes of obscurity and become one of the biggest success stories of this conflict. The publication concluded. One of the main trump cards of the Russian army in the Ukrainian war is the advantage of the aggressor in the number of air attack weapons, aircraft, missiles, long-range drones. The latter create perhaps the most trouble. Ukraine is currently developing several new means of counteracting drones in order to neutralize the advantage of the Russians' rights build. Ukraine's main problem with the Shaheds and other enemy drones is that there are too many of them to waste precious air defense missiles on, so a much cheaper alternative is needed. Ukraine is currently working on three fronts. Interceptor quadcopters. This innovation has already been implemented and has been successfully operating for some time. Small drones have been modified so that they can be used not for reconnaissance or attacking ground targets, but for air combat. According to BUILD, Ukrainian interceptor drones ram about 50 Russian reconnaissance drones and even larger kamikaze Landsat drones every week. Wing-type interceptor drones. The problem with small quadcopters is that they can only fly a few kilometers, especially at high altitudes, so Russian reconnaissance drones can easily evade them. So Ukraine is now developing fixed-wing interceptor drones that can follow a Russian drone up to 60 kilometers and at an altitude of up to 4 kilometers. Drones of this type are already undergoing testing and should be in service with the troops by the end of this year. Long-range killer drones. Ukraine's big goal is to create drone killers that can intercept and destroy the Russian Iranian long range Shahed stroke Geran drones. For such interceptors to be effective, they would need to be at least 200 kilometers an hour and have a long range at least 200, preferably 500 kilometers. And they would need to be inexpensive. According to Build, Ukraine hopes to create a third type of interceptor drone no later than 2025.
Recall the Ukrainian armed forces have recently begun to actively use flamethrower drones on the front lines, which have already been nicknamed dragons on the internet. A series of videos published on social networks show how low-flying drones drop streams of fire, in fact, molten metal, on Russian positions in forest plantations. It is reported that the Air Force began testing Ukrainian analogues of the Russian cabs, guided aerial bombs that can fly long distances, eliminating the need for pilots to fly close to enemy positions.